Hey, what's up? It's Meek Silasab. You guys want to see fucking a nuke on an arrowhead? All right, watch this shit. Look at these. These are 135s, as always. If you're new to the channel, that's why you have to know. Oh, that was, no, none of those were crit gas procs, but watch this. Yeah. Look at that shit. 40,000 damage gas ticks. Ooh. So, yeah, that's the build. That's a nuclear arrowhead thing. So, now, let's check the mods. Also, subscribe to me. Thank you. Alright. Hey, guys. Um, This is how it works. We got damage, multi, crit damage, negative puncture in the Riven mod. You remove puncture to get almost guaranteed slash procs. Um, we got crit damage, so no need to for further uh, crit damage. We also don't have serration in the build, which is pretty interesting. So, yeah. Um... Amalgam Daikyu target acquired. We got that thing recently. It gives 75% extra damage to the headshot multiplier, which is pretty, pretty juicy though. Brian Bane of Corrupted. Um, that's for testing these corrupted enemies. This is pretty critical for insanely huge gas ticks. So yeah, that's basically how the thing works. Um, you stack up plenty of gas, 100% status, not super critical, but you want to remove the main IPS of this thing to get much more consistent gas procs. So for those of you who don't know, basically you got physical damage types and elemental damage types. This is one of them, cold, and uh, status, each fucking damage type has its own status, and you want to... Um, do only one status when you when you make a very specific build like this um if you want if you have a machine gun you want to make it do a lot of corrosive procs you reduce um impact or puncture to make it do more corrosive procs so that's basically the gist of it um i didn't i didn't word it too precisely but basically these physical damage types they are preferred four times over elemental damage types when status picks a random thing to proc so when you remove it, um, you get much more uh, common gas procs, which is what we want. So um, people think, oh man, if you reduce um, physical damage type, uh, you, you reduce the potency of slash procs and shit like that because they say uh, slash procs uh, scale off base damage. Um, but yeah, you're right. Um, base dam uh, Slash procs do scale off of base damage, but physical damage types are not technically base damage. So... If you reduce a physical damage type, the base damage is still going to stay the same, which means slash procs are still going to stay the same. And I've, I've proven that to be so um, on my Arcisco video. Um, just Google it, Xilisab uh, Arcisco Riven, and you'll see um, two almost identical Rivens, one being negative zoom and one being negative puncture. And you'll see the slash procs are absolutely identical on each build so yeah also fucking uh arca cisco 60 percent puncture so yeah removing puncture good thing also another thing and another thing i forgot to mention this thing does innate impact procs uh i'm pretty sure so even if you were to get a negative impact build it would still do impact procs but um for those of you uh of you who are like oh hell yeah impact is shit but don't know that it's not a big deal on single shot weapons like who gives a shit only on beam and automatic weapons does negative uh, impact matter i mean it matters on pretty much everything but the drawback of making an impact proc is not so horrible against something that is very easy to headshot with like a daikyu and it usually only takes one shot so who fucking gives a shit if their head flails around from the impact proc you know so yeah there you go Let's test a super heavy enemy now. I don't know if I've done that. I've tried to record this video like 15 times. Um, let's get one Leech Eximus and bop him in the head. There we go. That guy's paused. Nice and paused. All right, watch this. Pray to fucking Jesus Christ they get a crit slash. Yay! Oh, fuck. Red text cucked me. But yeah, look. We fucking have some massive procs. We one-shot a Leech Eximus. Um, an enemy with like 21 million effective health and we do that without removing any armor so yeah that's pretty juicy um, we only bypass the armor with the slash proc that we aren't even technically relying on so yeah look at that that's a 60,000 damage tick of course it's amplified by my Bastille's um, 
extra 25% damage, which is Vaban's passive. So, yee, yee that's, um, that's what I like. Um, I don't think it's an even necessary to test um, these corpus enemies, but yeah, I'll show you another another thing that could technically be viewed as a drawback of this um, a weapon. And you'll see it very soon. Just let me cater my build towards corpus enemies. I don't have Bane of Corpus, and I'll show you how much that inhibits um, the effectiveness of this weapon. And I'll add Serration, of all things. I don't really need it. I would have added Prime Shred so I can have a faster draw speed, but this thing is fast enough for, for what we're trying to do. Alright, so I will still one-shot these fuckers if I get that crit gas proc. I will absolutely delete them. I will fucking erase them from existence um, because on unarmored targets, gas ticks are just absolutely retarded. Sorry, I'm probably going to bleep that out. I said the R word, slipped it up. Uh, but yeah, um, because we are using Amalgam Target Acquired, um, I don't think I can hit these dudes' heads. So, like, I don't know, th these are their heads and the multiplier, I think they have a huge damage reduction on their faces. So, yeah, it's not super effective on bursts because um, they have a weak spot that is technically not their head. So, yeah. Red decks, shut the fuck up, I'm trying to make a video here. It's those Indian. What? Well, shut. This dude is so annoying. He's never interesting. And his borderline sexual innuendos are also very cheap. He doesn't. That, that man doesn't use the internet very often. He's not in tune with the memes. Alright, but anyways, yeah. Um, what can I show you? Um, you know how people say, oh man, fucking Hunter Munitions builds are the best shit ever. Man. Gas builds are the way to go. That is the top tier business. And uh, when you get a Bane mod, uh, those get pretty nutty. So yeah. Also, um, why don't you just run, if you're if you're trying to delete things with gas, run like full corrosive projections or an armor removing frame or some shit, and you'll see some absolutely redonkulous damage. So yeah, I don't think I'm going to test a Hunter Munitions build for this. I don't, I don't think there's any point in doing that. Because this thing is already um, pretty um, slashy. It does slash prox. So yeah, I don't know what else I can show you this. I got a fucking, as you, as you know, I'm hustling for some ad <laughs> revenue. So I got to fill up these remaining two minutes with some shit. I'm going to show you something uh, rather interesting. Um, here we go. Corrupted Heavy Gunner. Oh yeah, also one more thing. Watch this. I'm going to try. I'm going to have a very feeble attempt at smacking it, hitting it with an arrow. It's very difficult. I've been trying it for like 15 minutes, and it's almost impossible. Um, so, yeah, if you can do this, if you can smack um, an enemy with a CBR and uh, hit it with a DiQ, that'd be pretty nice. You just got to launch it. And sometimes it doesn't work, as you can see. I really hate the inconsistency. <coughs> Please get hit. Please. Nope. It's so difficult, man. I like it. It seems like the most easy fucking shot, but it's so difficult. I have only m made it like work once, and uh, yeah, I really hate the fact that it's. Please get hit. Nope. Not gonna happen today. I'm not a very lucky man. And um, I would say that my aim ain't that shit either. I've looked at the fl normal flight speed of the arrow, and it's not too like it's not too fast, not too slow. But holy fuck, is it difficult to hit this thing? Yeah, this thing, this the arrow is slow as shit. But um, I I'm not very adept in getting that to work, getting that hit. Hit scan weapons are so much easier. Fuck. All right. Yeah, that doesn't look like I'm going to get it. Now would be a bad time for to extract from your missions. All right, red text. Cool, dude. Fucking video bombing asshole. So, yeah, um, there's no point in testing any other builds because the, this is strictly a gas build. Thanks to my homie, 
Slink Key for um, coming up with this build. Thanks to my homie Banana Cat for lending me this ribbon. And yeah, keep bullying me for the, uh, what the fuck, uh, uh, I forgot, fitness channel. Yeah, I, I have to do that. I have to get that done. So, yee, -yee thank you for uh, spending your time watching this video. Thank you. Um, you guys are the thing that makes me play Warframe.